Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to do part one of a series on finding the surface area of 3D figures. In a previous video, I looked at the area of polygons. Now we're going to look at the surface area, which is basically just the same thing as area, but for three-dimensional figures. So let's look at a couple examples. First one is the rectangular prism. And the surface area formula is shown up here. And this is also something you can find on your formula sheet. There's about six different uh, 3D figures that have a formula for surface area. And in this video series, we're going to cover all of them. But we're going to split it up into a couple different parts. So the surface area of a rectangular prism is basically the area of the outside. So think about if you were to take this, this block, basically, and you were to color it, that's what you would be coloring as a surface area. So let's figure out how to determine what the surface area is. So the surface area is twice length width plus twice length height plus twice width height. So let's fill in each of those numbers and see what we get. Um, I'm going to call the length down here, I'm going to call the width 2, and I'm going to call the height 3. I'm labeling them that way because I know which one is which and I can make sure that I'm consistent when I'm plugging it into the right letters. So the length is going to be 5, and the width is going to be 2. And I use a cursive L just for curiosity. I use a cursive L because a regular L looks like a 1, so I don't want to get it confused. Um, let's see. Next, we have twice times length times height. So length, again, is 5, and height is 3. And the last two, width and height, are 2 and 3. 2 and 3. So let's start adding these up, or multiplying them together, add them up. 2 times 5 times 2 is 20. 2 times 5 times 3 is 30. And 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. So one last addition, 20 plus 30 plus 12 is going to get me 62. And our units are going to be inches squared. Any kind of unit measurement with area is always squared units. So the surface area of this rectangular prism is 62 inches squared. Let's look at one more type of prism. In this case, a right prism, which is basically like a triangular prism um, or a 3D triangle in some, some uh, cases. It looks like a tent and uh, looks like one example here. So the surface area formula for this is uh, P times H plus 2 times capital B. So P and capital B are not common letters, so what they represent is P is the perimeter of your base, and capital B is the area of the base. And that's explained to you on your formula sheet as well. It's kind of in the fine print. So let's look at how to apply this to find the surface area. Um, it's also important to note for right prisms that your actual, the triangle is actually your base. So I'm going to write a big B here. It's not the bottom here. You have to kind of think of it as if it's like tipped up on its side. Um, that's really important when you're finding your um, area, surface area here. Um, so the triangle is your base. And so the perimeter, let's figure out what that is first. The perimeter is the distance around the triangle or any shape. And so we have four on the bottom. We have seven on the slant. And with these, it's important to note that both slants are the same. So this is also 7. So it's really your base plus your slant plus your other slant. So 4 plus 7 plus 7 is going to be 18. And then your capital B, or the area of your base, is an area of a triangle. In a previous video, I went through how to calculate the area of a triangle. The formula is 1 half base times height. So I'm going to use that formula, 1 half base times height. And in this case, that gets you 1 half times your base, which is the bottom of the triangle, which is 4, times your height, which they give you is 6. Okay? 1 half times 4 times 6 is going to be 12. All right? So I figured out some of the unknown variables now. Let's plug in the rest of them to figure out the surface area. So P, which we figured out, is going to be 18 times the height. So it's also important to note that because the base is your triangle, you've got to think of it kind of tipped on its side, the height is actually this length here. Because you've got to think of it as standing up. 
So the height is going to be 12. And then plus 2 times the capital B, which we said was also 12. So now let's keep going, figure out the surface area. 18 times 12, that's kind of a larger number, so I'm going to use a calculator to make sure I can calculate it correctly. So bring that over here. 18 times 12 is 216. All right, let's get rid of that. Plus 2 times 12 is 24, so add those two together, and I get my surface area is 240 centimeters squared. Because again, all units involving area are squared. So I hope this helps when you get to finding the surface area of a couple of 3D figures. Um, be sure to check out the next parts two and three of this series when we cover how to find the surface area of a few different three-dimensional shapes. Thanks for watching. Hey, one more thing for all the math talkers out there. You see the red button down there? It's a subscribe button. Click it. Tell all your friends right down there. Subscribe. Spread the word.